اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان العین الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین والحمد للہ الذی جعلنا من المتمسکین بولایت امیر المؤمنین ولائمت المعصومین علیہم السلام والحمد للہ الذی حدان لہذا وما کنا لنہتدی لولا ان حدان اللہ ثم الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين خاتم النبيين شفيع المذنبين حبيب إله العالمين خير البرية نبي الرحمة سيد المرسلين إمام المتقين رحمة العالمين مفتاح الجنة صاحب الحوض والكوثر النبي الأمي العربي المكي المدني القرشي الهاشمي العبد المؤيد والرسول المسدد والمصطفى الأمجد والمحمود الأحمد أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد ما صل على محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين ولعنة الله على عدائه مجمعين من يوم عداوتهم إلى يوم الدين عما بعد فقد قال الله عز وجل في كتابه الحكيم وهو أصدق القائلين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإنك لعلى خلق عظيم آمنا بالله صدق الله العلي العظيم ما صلي على محمد وآل محمد عما بعد السلام عليكم جميعا ورحمة الله وبركاتهم I begin in the name of Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. There is no doubt that it's due to His kindness and generosity that He gives us these opportunities where we gather in celebration and glorification of Him Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. Then we send our congratulatory messages to our 12th and living Imam Al Hujjah, Ajalallahu Ta'ala Farajahu Sharif. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Ali. As we gather this evening to celebrate the wiladat of two great personalities, two of our most holiest saints, our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. And our sixth Imam al-Sadiq alayhi afdalu salatu wa salam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we each get an opportunity to go for the ziyarat of these two great personalities in Medina and that we receive their shafaat in hereafter insha'Allah. Clearly, when we gather for two of these great personalities or when we gather for one of our great personalities, our masumin, uh, it begins, it's difficult to know where to start from to begin to describe their life and to give them justice. Um, and when we have two of these great personalities born on the same day, it becomes doubly difficult. But at the same time, there is double barakah, inshallah, upon us today as we gather for this event. We've talked about before that it's not a coincidence, right? It's not a coincidence that these two great personalities were born on the same day. Um, the fact that they have so many similarities amongst them, the fact that they both share similar titles of As-Sadiq and Al-Amin, the fact that they both work towards removing a community out of darkness and into light in different situations and in different circumstances, but with a similar effect, it behooves us, right, as their followers and as their lovers, those who call themselves Ja'fari and those who know that our blood flows with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. That the least we can give back to these great personalities is that we need to know things about them, right? A few lectures ago when you were gathered, uh, when we were gathered, we talked about the need of having ma'rifah. Right? A need of awareness or knowledge about the great personalities that we gather to celebrate and commemorate. 
Um, and ma'rifa, as we talked about, has levels, but the minor or the, the base level is that I need to know something about their lives, something that can identify me towards them, to make them seem closer to me. And inshallah, we'll try to do that today. Um, but we're going to have a little fun doing it as well. Yeah? Um, you can probably tell I'm not sitting in the member today. I'm standing here outside the, outside the thing, the, outside the, the mosque, though, so I'm okay to make jokes. Yeah? Um, but we're going to have a little bit of fun today and we're going to play a game, inshallah. And the game that we're going to play is Wheel of Fortune. Yeah? Ooh, can I get a ooh? ooh. Thank you. That's kind of lame, though, from everybody else. Can we get a ooh? ooh. Ah. Yeah, now we're playing Wheel of Fortune, however there is no wheel and there is no fortune, okay? Um, except for the fortune of knowledge, okay? And at the same time, no one call me Vanna, okay? Yeah, the old timers got it, the old timers, thank you very much, yeah? <laughs> um, so the, the rules of the game are pretty simple, okay? We're going to have men versus women, or men versus women. And if you remember, last time I believe the score is tied 1-1 now. The first time the ladies won, the second time the men won. Uh, so this is for all the marbles, as you say. Um, what we're going to have is we're going to have one representative from the men's side and one representative from the women's side. So from the men's side, I have Brother Mujtaba. Where is Brother Mujtaba? Assalamu alaikum. Hey, oh, you scared me there, Mujtaba. Mujtaba is right there. And from the sister's side, we have Sister Ghazal Wadia. Sister Ghazal, are you there? Hello. <laughs> Are you there? Rian, did we get them a mic? Yeah, we did. Okay. You got to turn on the mic and say salam. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. Thank you very much. So, we're going to start this off with a coin flip. Okay, I have a coin. Oh, there is that. This is your coin. I have to get it back to you. Okay. Um, and whoever gets the coin flip correct will begin Wheel of Fortune. There are four game boards. Okay, um, and I don't think we'll get through all of them, but if we do, we do khair. If you answer the question correctly, I'm only going to repeat these rules once, okay? If you answer the questions correctly, you get to pick a letter, okay? If the letter is on the board, you get to guess if you want on the answer. However, you can't just guess randomly. If you guess and you get it wrong, you lose a turn. That means the next time the other team gets two turns. Okay, so you have to make sure that you guess when you're pretty confident that you know the answer. And unlike Wheel of Fortune where the same person keeps winning, uh, keeps repeating, we're going to switch questions from men to women, men to women. Okay, do we get it? Yeah, I think we understood the rules. All right, now the questions, some of them are easy, but some of them are pretty hard because I want us to get some more information. The purpose of this is to get a depth of information about the fifth, about the sixth Imam and the Prophet. So Sister uh, Ghazal, are you ready? Can you call heads or tails? Uh, yes, we're ready. Which would you like, heads or tails? Uh, we'll go for heads. Heads, okay. Oh, it's a tail, it's a tail. <laughs> Okay, so Mushtaba, you want to give them the first question or you want to take the first question? What do you guys want to do? Ladies first. Ladies first, I think so we'll give them first. Huh? We'll give them first. You'll the take it first? We'll give the ladies first. You'll leave the ladies first. Oh, mashallah. Very, very generous and noble of you. All right. Okay, so this is the board. You can look on the TV. Don't worry. The decorations are blocking it. Yeah? Um, so this is the game board, and we'll begin with the question. You ready? All right. First question. Who was the great, great grandfather of the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him and his family? Yeah. Who was the great, great grandfather of the Prophet? Um, the answer is Hashim. Hashim. Hashim is incorrect. Okay. Um, his father was? Abdullah. His grandfather was Abdul Muttalib. His great grandfather was Hashim. His great great grandfather was Abdul Manaf. Okay? Great great grandfather. Yeah, great great grandfather. No, no, I said great great twice, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, I said it twice. Oh, I'm reading directly from the board. <laughs> yeah? So sorry you don't get to pick a letter. We might not even get past the first game board, you know? 
<laughs> All right. Second question. Mustafa, you ready? Okay. You did a smart thing, you know, because it seems like every other question is easy. Ready? What is the exact date and the year of the birth of the Prophet? Hey, all of you have to participate. Not only Mujtaba is answering. Okay? Repeat that, please. 17th Rabbi level, 570 AD. 570 AD is correct. It's known as the year of the elephant. Very good. All right, which letter would you like? Help me out, guys. Which letter? Hey, the whole purpose is everybody's got to get into it. Okay? A. A? A. 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 All right, A. Do we have an A? No A. Wow. No, this is, this is my wheel of fortune. Yeah? <laughs> vowels are not free here. You have to pay for vowels. Okay? I see you're taking information from bad people. Mustafa. All right. Uh, Sister, Wad, Sister Ghazal, are you ready? Yes we're, re yes, we're ready. Huh? We're ready? No, no, they didn't guess on the board. I mean, I'm talking about the, not oh. the wrong answer. They have, if they guess incorrectly of the game board. Not if they get the answer wrong. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is the exact date and year of the birth of Imam Sadiq alayhi salam? Oh, just got harder, didn't it? Yeah? Now, I know that the dates are, are difficult. Not dates are difficult. The year is difficult. So, out of the kindness of my heart, I'm going to give you plus or minus five. Yeah? So, of the year, you go up five or low five, and I'll give it to you. Okay? What is the date, exact date and year of the birth of Imam Sadiq alayhi salam? Yeah, yeah, no Google. I, I, I'm, I'm cutting off Google searches. Can we block internet here? Yeah? <laughs> lady side, lady side. I don't want to hear from you guys. Yeah. I know you guys are googling it. <laughs> hey, I, as I tell my five-year-old, Allah is watching. Yeah. Allah is. Huh? It should be allowed. Why? Resource. No, the resources, we've heard these lectures for 30 years, yeah? Yeah, we should know this information by now. <laughs> okay, I need the answer now, please. So, um, 17 Rabil Aval, mm -hmm. 83 AH. Very good, right on the dot, 83 AH. And I have Husnul Dhan, you did not Google it, yeah? Um, what letter would you like? See, they're way more into it than you guys, yeah? You guys are a little disappointing so far. Um, we'll go with E. 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 Do we have an E? Yeah. You see how into it there? Awesome, man. Awesome. Oh, so many E's. Okay. You want to take a guess at it? Uh, no. Okay. All right. You ready, Mustafa? All right. Who named the prophet in the world? Who gave the name to the Prophet in this world? Because y'all could tell me Allah and it would be right. Yeah, it would be right. But in this world, who named the Prophet? In this world. Anyone? Yes. Come on, guys, I need an answer. You, gotta, you guys gotta speak up. Yes. You guys gotta speak up. Yeah? Yes, brother. Her mother? Okay. I'm getting a lot of Abdul Muttalib, so I'm going to go with Abdul Muttalib. Abdul Muttalib is correct. Abdul Muttalib yeah. named him. Good, very good. Which letter would you like? You guys sure? Don't tell me, tell him. Don't tell me. Hands up for us. Hands up for T. I saw more of an S. We'll go with S. Okay, do we have an S? Alhamdulillah. Would you like to take a guess? You have five seconds. Would you like to take a guess? Yes. No. Huh? <laughs> Next Any round, inshallah. Next round? Yes. Okay, it's not coming back, I'm telling you. All right. <laughs> Sister Ghazal, are you ready? Yes, we're ready. Okay. How many times is the name of the Prophet mentioned in the Quran and uh, directly and name two of the surahs? Ooh, y'all thought it was going to be cupcake questions, huh? Not cupcake questions, yeah? 
name how many times is he mentioned in the Quran by name and we'll recite his name by the times he's mentioned by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad and name two of the surahs Um, okay, so Surah Muhammad, mm -hmm. Surah Taha, and four times. Mm. Four times is correct, yeah. But Surah Taha is not correct, yeah. Um, it's Surah Ali Imran, Surah Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa ali, Surah Fath, and Surah Ahzab, yeah. Huh? By I said by his name specifically. Yeah? By his name specific. Otherwise, he's mentioned many times, right? Um, sorry, I feel really bad that you guys aren't getting any of them right. Just kidding. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> These are hard questions, okay? Even the men wouldn't have gotten it. Don't worry. Okay, Mujtaba, you ready? Okay. What does the word Quran mean? Yeah? What does the word Quran mean? Yes. Louder, please. Recitation. The recital. the recital. Anything else? Yes. Recitation. Anyone else? Okay, so we're getting recitation or the recital? Mm, pick one. Okay. Recital. Recital? Oh, you should have gone the other one. No, I'm just kidding. That's fine. Um, <laughs> the actual answer is the reading. The reading. But you think we should give it to them? Yeah. Sisters, should we give it to them? <laughs> The reading or the recital? Is that close enough? Yeah. yeah. Is it? In what language is it the same thing? Yeah. English. Huh? <laughs> huh? Here's my, I'll do a coin flip. Yeah. No. How can you recite without reading? Okay, fine. You got it right. Okay, there. He convinced me. Okay, we'll give it to them. Ali ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. My, my benevolence knows no limits, alhamdulillah. Yeah? Just kidding. Okay, pick a letter. Yes. 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 H. H. M. I'm getting a lot of M and T. Hands up for T. And then M. M for Muhammad. Alright, it's M for Muhammad. We'll go with M. M, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Good job. Okay, you want to take a guess? You guys want to take a guess or we'll go for next round? I'm hearing a lot of uh, more no's, so we'll go save for next round. Save it for next round. Okay. Wait, save. All right, Sister Gaza, you ready? Uh, yes, we're ready. Okay, what are three titles of our sixth Imam alayhi salam? Well, I think I gave one in the answer question, didn't I? Yes, I did. My benevolence knows no limits of this, right, right? What are three titles of our sixth Imam? Oh, I didn't give it. Huh? It's the lady's turn. Huh? Did I? I'm getting old. What can I do? I forget things. Do you guys know three titles? You know two? Uh huh. It's a kunia though. So, um, the titles are As Sadiq, uh -huh. Tahir, uh -huh. and Al Fadil. Very good, yeah? I didn't expect you to get those ones, but very good. Salawat ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Allah. Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. All right, pick a letter. That's so cool, man. Yeah, that's so cool that they're so into it. You guys are a little disappointing. Yeah? 
Uh, I need a letter soon. So we'll go for L. L, good choice. <laughs> okay, you had five seconds. You want to take a guess at it? I know what it is. Um, no. No? No. Oh, seriously. Okay, gentlemen, are you ready? Yeah? There were three women who nursed or fed the Prophet. Who, what are two of their names? Two women who nursed the Prophet. There are three women who yes. nursed or fed the Prophet. What are their names? Yes. Huh? Don't look at me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm okay. picking you. Yes. <laughs> Sorry? Halima. Halima and... Okay. So, um, we have Halima and Amina, his mother. Halima and Amina are correct. Yeah. There are three women, yeah, three ladies who, who fed the Prophet. It is said that his own mother, Sayyid Amina alayhi salam, fed the Prophet for three days. After that, Suwaiba, who was the female slave of Abu Lahab, fed her for four months. And after that, Halima took her and he, she fed him for the remaining of the two years. So pretty cool information, okay? Pick a letter, please. I'm hearing a lot of I, so go with I. I, I. You had to tell him, you have two seconds. You guys got a guess? No smell like his scent. No smell like his scent. No smell like his scent. You sure? Uh, okay. We'll go, we'll, get, we'll guess it. You take a guess? Yes. Ooh, are you sure? I'm just kidding. Go okay. ahead, take a guess. <laughs> yes, what is it? No smell like his scent. Say it again. To smell like... Hey, hey, what, what? No smell like his scent. Scent. That's correct. Yeah. No, oh yeah. No smell like his scent. Salawat ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Things just got a little bit heated. Men took the first one. Very good. Okay. <clears throat> Second game board. So we'll start with the, uh, who got, the men got it right? So we'll start with the ladies, yeah? Okay, before the age of, are you ready? Uh, yes, we're ready. Okay, before the age of nine, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him and his family, lost two very dear, two people very dear to him. Who were they and how old was the Prophet during their death? Long question, let me, re let me say it again. Before the age of nine, the Prophet lost two very dear people to him. Who were they and how old was the Prophet during their death? Because the age is here, I'll give you plus and minus one only. Yeah? <laughs> you should listen to her. <laughs> huh? Can you steal? No, you, brother, we're in a mosque. We don't steal things, okay? <laughs> okay, so we're ready with the answer. Yes, go ahead, please. Um, so when he was six, he Wait, lost... Wait, guys, I can't hear her, please. So when he was six, he lost his mom. And when he was eight, he lost his grandfather. Very good. Yeah, he lost his mother, as some say, at the age of five, or some say at the age of six. And when he was eight, he lost his grandfather, Abdul Muttalib. Okay, pick a letter. A. 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 Coming for E. Coming for E. A. 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 Take a guess? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. 
All right. Mustafa, are you ready? Yup. What are three names that the Holy Quran refers to itself by? Yeah. Three names that the Quran calls itself. Yes, brother. Let's hear it. Sorry, what did you say? Uh, the question is for the men, but the okay. question was, what are the three names that the Holy Quran refers to itself by? Can we guess it? No, it's a men's turn. <laughs> So we'll go with a dhikr Furqan, and Al-Qur'an. That's correct, yeah? Yeah, Allah. Other names, the Qur'an calls itself by Furqan, which means criterion. It calls itself Kitab many times, which is a book. It calls itself Dhikr, which is remembrance, and Tanzil, revelation. These are the five most common names of the Holy Qur'an. Can you pick a letter? Um, I'm putting my trust Don't on Brother Nabil. Tell him. We'll go with L. Man, they're all yelling at me, like I get to pick. <laughs> we'll go with L. L? L. L. Don't tell me, tell him. L. Hey, I trusted him. Alright, that's it. You guys want to guess this? Yeah. You guys want to guess this? Let's hear it. Okay. Rahmatan lil alameen. And we're guessing Rahmatan lil alameen. Rahmatan lil alameen. Could that be right? We're not losing today. We're not losing today. <laughs> Muhammad Wali Muhammad. Wow, pure domination here, yeah? <laughs> Alright, so we'll go to the next game board. You guys have you can still play for a tie. You said Rahmatan. It's Rahmatun. But I'm gonna give it to you. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to you. Yeah. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, yeah? Alhamdulillah. When God gives, He just gives, man. He just gives, alhamdulillah. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Now the men got it right again. Uh, Sister uh, Ghazal, you ready? Uh, yes, we're ready. Okay. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope, okay? Um, at the age of 12, the Prophet traveled to Syria with his uncle Abu Talib, where he met a Christian monk. What is the monk's name? Buhira or Bahira? Very good, yeah. The name of the priest was Bahira. <laughs> yeah? Bahira who lived in a monastery in what's the city's name? Anybody know? Busra. Yeah? Inshallah when Sham gets healthy again properly, when we go for Ziyarat, inshallah, we were very fortunate to visit Busra and see the monastery where the Prophet passed through. Uh, but that's the correct answer. Very good. Which letter would you like? No, the, the sisters sound very sad all of a sudden, yeah? Don't worry, you can still do it. Yeah, you can still tie, you can still tie. Huh? Next, Kushali. I'll you go can for still A. Tie. Huh? A. A. A? Yes. Okay, A. Is that it? One A? Okay. All right, gentlemen, you ready? When the Prophet was 15, he participated in a battle with the Quraysh against the tribe of Hawazan. What is the name of this battle? Help me out here. Anybody? <clears throat> Anybody know this? Hey, nobody Google this. Yeah? If you get it, you must have Googled it. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this was a tough one. It's not my brother. The was much older. I my brother. Um, anyone? Anyone has that yeah, I know the answer. I googled it earlier today. Yeah? <laughs> huh? Can't hear you. Okay, you have three seconds. One. Oh, that's Ohad. That's what <laughs> You wouldn't have got it anyways, yeah? Huh? Yeah, no, but I saw you google it. The battle is Battle of Fujjar. Yeah? The Battle of Fujjar, let's give you a little bit of historical background. The reason why it's called the Battle of Fujjar is because it's called the Battle of the Unjust. And the reason they call it the Battle of the Unjust because it was fought in one of the four holy months where fighting was always not done or um, against the law basically. And so because it was done in this time, they called it the Battle of Fujjar. The Prophet 
was 15 at this time and they say that the prophet's role during the battle was to be the shield between the arrows that were coming towards his uncles imagine yeah subhanallah you know sometimes we don't give enough due credit to the bravery and the courage of Rasulullah. Yeah? There's a hadith from Amirul Mu'mineen Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. Ma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. He says in Nahjul Balagha that whenever matters became difficult for the Muslim soldiers on the battlefront, we rushed to go behind the Prophet. Yeah? And we hid behind the Prophet because he was the first most attacking the army and we all stood behind him. You know, sometimes... The question is unfair. Here's why. What was the age of the Prophet at the time? They say he was 15. Well, I'm going to call him the Prophet. I wouldn't have called him... Yeah, yeah, correct. But we're just calling him the Prophet. Yeah, we're just calling because... I yeah? Yeah, but now we're going to get into a theological discussion, yeah? And we won't have fun then, yeah? Once we get there, we won't have fun. Um, so sorry, that was the incorrect answer. Okay. Sister Ghazal, who recited the sermon or the khutbah of the Prophet in his marriage to Sayyidah Khadija alayhi salam? Um, the answer is Abu Talib. Al Abu Talib alayhi salam is correct. Very good. Pick a letter. I gave you guys the first easiest question. When was the Prophet born? Yeah. <laughs> so for that, like you so deserve we'll like five with hard e? ones. E. 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 Yes. Okay. E. You want to take a guess? So clear. No, we won't guess. <laughs> okay. All right. What is Mustaba? Where is Mustaba? Oh my gosh, okay. What is the famous lengthy tradition that is attributed to the sixth Imam? What is, sorry, let me repeat this. What is a famous lengthy tradition that is attributed to the sixth Imam, which is famously known by the name of the companion it was told to? Yes. Sorry? Hadith Uman Basri. Anyone else? One sec. Yes. Sorry? But it's not a lengthy tradition. It is very short. A lengthy one is Hadith Unwan al Basri. Oh, we're trying to. Let's choose one. Okay. Um, Hadith Unwan al Basri. Hadith Unwan al Basri is correct, and or it could be Hadith al Mufaddal. Both of them are correct. Nice. Yeah? Very good. All right. Um, Hadith Unwan al Basri, if you remember, we had done like a six week tafsir of that here, inshallah. We'll. Uh, try to do one similar for Hadith al-Mufaddal that he told to his companion Mufaddal bin Umar um, in which the Imam alayhi salam talks about many very beautiful things. Which one would you like? Okay, we'll Why go is everybody so quiet? We'll go, with, we'll go with H since everybody up here is saying H. 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 No H. No H. Yeah? No H. Okay. <laughs> All right, Sister Ghazal, you ready? Uh, yes, we're ready. What are there are four surahs in the Quran with the wajib sajda? What are three of those surahs? out of four. <laughs> All right, you have three seconds. Very three, very long seconds. Yeah. So we're go with. Um, <laughs> I can't say that on the mic, though. You know. <laughs> yeah. So we're that. Uh huh. Surah Najm uh -huh. and Surah Alaq. Very good, yeah. What's the fourth surah? Fussilat. Very nice, yeah. Surah fourth. Hamim. Yeah, Hamim, Sajda. It's the same thing. Um, and then there is Najm, Alaq, and Fussilat. Very good. Pick a letter. Hey, listen, I have 10 minutes, yeah. They're timing me. I have 10 minutes. 
So if we want to play a fourth game board, we got to go quicker, okay? So we'll go with I. I. You keep picking vowels. No I. Oh, really? No I's? Oh, I even, I even forgot what it is. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Ready? Yep. When the Prophet was 35, a flood destroyed the Kaaba. What was the role of the Prophet in its reconstruction? Yes. Don't tell me, man. Yes. You all got to get this part of the rule down. Yeah? <laughs> you don't tell me. Okay. So he put the Hajr al-Aswad back. He put the Hajr al-Aswad back. That is technically correct. A very long story, very shortly told. Very correct. Yeah? Um, there was conflict between the tribes, right, of who would get this honor. So the Prophet came um, and he said, each tribe leader pick up the one piece of the cloth. They all picked it up. They took the Hajar Aswad next to the Kaaba and he, was, he had the honor of putting it back into the Kaaba. Very good. Pick a letter. Alright guys, come on. We're not losing. Hands up for us. Hands up for T. Okay, there are a lot more T, so majority wins. We'll go with T. T. Do we have a T? Oh, yes, we do. Alhamdulillah. All that for one. Wah, wah. Yeah? Okay. Ready? Yes. At the age of 40, the Prophet was appointed as the final messenger of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some historians have mentioned certain events which are considered myths about his appointment. Name one of them. I'll repeat the question. At the age of 40, the Prophet was appointed as the final messenger of Allah. Some historians have mentioned certain events which are considered to be myths about his appointment. Name one of them. So the answer is that the Prophet ran down the hill scared. And? And he was shivering. Yeah, okay, I'll give you that. Okay, fine. Um, <laughs> there were many myths that are told, right? One myth was that he came back home, he told Sayyidah Khadija that, you know, I saw something. She had to remind him about his virtues and said, it could be that you are a prophet. He said, oh, thank you very much. Um, Tabari in his tafsir writes that when he heard the word, now Tabari is considered to be one of the most renowned historical writers, yeah? Um, there is Tariq al-Tabari which is 10 volumes in it he writes when he heard the words you are the messenger of Allah his entire frame began to tremble and he decided to throw himself down the mountain in the meantime an angel appeared and dissuaded him from doing so imagine yeah in one of the most important books of history that's the kind of things they write about the prophet another myth that they have is that he came back and he was so confused as what to do. He went around the Kaaba to do tawaf. And Waraka bin Nofal found him there. And he told Waraka what happened. And Waraka said that I think you are the Prophet of God. And he said, Alhamdulillah, thank you Waraka. Yeah? And that's how he became the Prophet. Pick a letter please. <laughs> it was not the lady's turn, bro. <laughs> Uh, we'll go for O. O. Do we have an O? Nice. Yeah? Okay. Alright. Whose turn is it? Your turn? Alright. When the Prophet invited his family at the Da'wat al Ashira, who was the person who mocked the Prophet and teased Abu Talib? And what is his relationship to the Prophet? Yes. Abu Lahab. Anyone else? Yes. Okay, we'll go with Abu Lahab. And what is his relationship to the Prophet? He's the uncle to the Prophet. Paternal or maternal? I'm just kidding. That's fine. I'll give it to you. Yeah? Uh, the answer is Abu Lahab and he is the paternal uncle of the Prophet. Very good. Pick a letter. We'll go with S. S. The, the elders are saying something else, man. Yes. What's that about? You can't just go listen with? to one person. W. S or W? 
He's already done S. We'll go with W next time, inshallah. We've done it. Which one? Oh, they already picked press. it. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think it so does. I think it so does. No? Oh, the A is already there. You want to guess? Guess, guess it. Guess? Finish it. Five seconds. Finish it. You guys want to finish it off? You, you win this. I end early. Some people will be happy. Come on, finish it. Yeah? Okay, to make sure you're happy. Do you guys want to guess this? No. Any guesses? No. I'm not getting that much of a response. Let's play it safe. Play we'll it safe. Okay. Sister Ghazal. Yes. Name five surahs that begin with unconnected letters. Can we guess? What was that? You want to guess? Yeah, you can guess. Actually, can oh, you, you want to guess this? Uh, just give me a second, please. Do they have to get it right first? Yeah. Okay, the gentlemen are saying you have to answer first. I didn't, I didn't think about that rule. Yeah? See? Difference between me and divine law. It's always thought thoroughly. Yeah? <clears throat> Five surahs that begin with unconnected letters. There are 29 of them in the Quran. Yeah? 29 unconnected letters. We should know five. Hasan Lai, hasan Lai, hasan Lai. You're not sleeping today. Huh? <laughs> You're not sleeping today. Too. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. So it's Surah Yasin, Yasin. Surah Taha, Taha, Surah Maryam, Maryam. Surah Kahf, and Surah Fussilat. Fussilat, very correct, very true, <laughs> very correct. That's correct. Yeah. I don't know if you can be very correct, but that's correct. Yeah. Pick a letter. Socks? Could be socks. Two dirty socks. Uh. You wanted to guess. You should know it. Come on. Guys, start thinking. We, we got to get this next round. So, we'll go for N. N. Okay. You want to take a guess? Uh, yes, we we'll want to guess. Okay, go ahead. Two pure souls, one day. Very good. Two pure souls, one day. Very good. Yeah? Okay. Um... I'm at the end of my time. Yeah? We so we'll end here, inshallah. Huh? We won, right? Because we didn't get a chance to finish, we're going to call this a draw. Okay? Two one. Hey. We won. Hey, it's you guys who put restriction to my time, it's not me. Yeah? So we're going to call it a draw, inshallah. And thank you very much. I hope that we learned something about the Prophet. Uh, we learned something about the Imam that we can appreciate yeah that this religion that we have is a religion in which we can have fun come together enjoy laugh and learn together we pray that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts our efforts on this evening we ask him to hasten the return of our living imam to forgive the sins of our parents and loved ones for those going through difficulty that he end their difficulty for those that have asked us to pray for them ya allah accept their hajat rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta samil alim walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin thank you mujtaba thank you sister ghazal rahimallahu man kara surat al mubarakat al fatiha tasbikuha salati ala muhammad wa ali muhammad <laughs>